In the spring of 1858, tension was rising in the Fraser Canyon. The ancestral territory of the Inklakapmuk people had been invaded by tens of thousands of well-armed gold seekers. Many prospectors came from the American West, where the Indian Wars had wiped out large populations of First Nations people. We killed everything that looked like an Indian dog or anything else. Little as well as big. In the Fraser Canyon, 2,000 warriors had gathered, preparing for battle. Hostilities erupted when a young Inklakapmuth woman was raped. Warriors retaliated. Downriver at Yale, the morning light disclosed the headless bodies of two white men. Later in the day, three more decapitated bodies floated downstream. Fearing for their lives, many miners fled the banks of the river. But some retaliated with the indiscriminate slaughter of men, women, and children. In Yale, hundreds of miners organized into five regiments and marched to the Inklakapmuth capital, Kamshin, where Lytton now stands. In Kamshin, local chiefs and their allies were holding council. Some wanted to wipe out the white men once and for all. When the army of miners arrived, they met with the chiefs. We stated this time that we come for peace. But if we had to come again, we'd come by the thousands and drive them from the river forever. That threat convinced the Inklakapmuth Council to end the conflict. They reluctantly agreed to white settlement in their territory, bringing an end to the short-lived Fraser Canyon War. 